Hospitals and healthcare systems across the valley are having to adjust to a shortage of IV fluids. That means even for some, postponing elective surgeries. IVs are so important uh, in medicine. Intravenous fluids or IVs are used every day in the ER, surgery, intensive care, and more. 80, 90 plus percent of people in the hospital are getting intravenous fluids. But Hurricane Helene upended the nation's supply after damaging a manufacturing plant that supplies 60 percent of the nation's IV fluids. And having one of the largest uh, suppliers in the country go down uh, is definitely going to be a huge impact to, to our emergency services. While the FDA has allowed temporary imports from outside the U.S. to help, Valley hospitals say they're conserving what fluids they have and what little's coming in. Nurses, others, are encouraged that when the patient can take oral fluids, that they should be switched over. Banner Medical says that they are delaying some elective surgeries to make sure that they have enough IV fluids for those life-saving critical procedures. Valley Wise, Mayo Clinic, and Honor Health all say they're putting in conservation measures, but have not yet postponed surgeries. Any place where we use large amounts of fluids, we're asking, can we give less? Any place that we used less fluids, we're trying to say maybe we don't need it at all. Dr. Andrew Carroll says his primary care offices aren't seeing the squeeze just yet since they don't use IVs all the time. But as the shortage goes on. When I need to order it, when I run out, um, it's probably going to be very hard for me to get even a case. He says the community can help by holding off on those at home voluntary IV infusions. Those supplies could be used for somebody in the ICU. In Phoenix, Lillian Donahue, ABC 15, Arizona.